In this uh, tutorial, we will look at the chemical spoilage of foods during storage and uh, distribution. Chemical and uh, biochemical changes occur in foods during storage and they are generally undesirable except in very few instances such as aging of wine, cheese or uh, ripening of fruits. Often a chemical reaction or a breakdown of chemical components result in uh, food spoilage. Some of the notable changes that we may observe in uh, foods due to chemical changes include uh, protein degradation, lipid oxidation, non-enzymatic browning, and chemical spoilage of carbohydrates. Among various chemical changes, Oxidation is perhaps one of the key culprits. For example, roasted coffee exposed to air loses its flavor as uh, the oils that are present in coffee are oxidized. In case of beer, off flavors develop with oxidation of its flavor components. There are many essential nutrients uh, such as uh, vitamins, uh, that are oxidized in the presence of air and that results in their reduced efficacy. In case of freshly cut apples or lettuce, the enzyme catalase is catalyzed in the presence of air and that results in browning uh, which is considered uh, unattractive. Now lipid oxidation is one of the most common spoilage reactions in foods that contain fats such as nuts, fried foods, meats, uh, milk powder and coffee. The uh, unsaturated fatty acids are oxidized in the presence of oxygen that causes changes in color and also development of off flavors. The uh, rate of oxidation is uh, influenced by the location and a number of double bonds uh, on the fatty acids and uh, triglycerides. Now light, heat and trace metals can catalyze the lipid oxidation reaction that results then in food spoilage. Carbohydrates often spoil due to what is called retrogradation as well as browning reactions. Now retrogradation occurs in starches that have been previously gelatinized. During gelatinization, the crystal structure of starch is lost, but during retrogradation, the crystals begin to form again due to their reassociation. Retrogradation is more common with amylose since they are smaller unbranched molecules. A common example of this spoilage is uh, staling of bread and bakery products. Protein degradation is often catalyzed by the enzymatic activity. For example, protease plasmin can survive pasteurization temperatures and then can cause deterioration of dairy proteins in uh, milk, uh, resulting in coagulation and gelation. Proteases also cause mushiness in meats by breaking down the meat proteins. Oxidative changes in meats result in undesirable brown color where myoglobin and oxymyoglobin is converted into metmyoglobin. As we noted before, uh, non-enzymatic browning is another way that the chemical reactions bring about spoilage in foods. Non-enzymatic browning is also called Maillard browning. Uh, this involves proteins, uh, some of the amino groups, and the reducing sugars. The reaction has several steps. However, they ultimately lead to the formation of volatiles and dark pigments. It can also bring about changes in the texture and a loss in nutritional value. For example, lysine, an essential amino acid, is uh, influenced by non-enzymatic browning. This type of browning is also more pronounced when the water activity is between 0.6 and 0.8.
Some of the other uh, contributing factors to Maillard browning include metal ions such as copper and iron and high pH. Uh, the non-enzymatic browning occurs in several uh, dehydrated products that we see on the grocery shelf such as uh, instant potatoes uh, as well as egg white. Hydrolytic reactions are another cause of spoilage in foods. They cause breakdown of uh, polysaccharides and oligosaccharides. Several enzymes uh, play an important role in these reactions. For example, the uh, polygalacturonase and pectin lyase break down pectin that cause softening of vegetables. There are a number of uh, chemical reactions that cause quality deterioration in foods that are influenced by light. They depend on the wavelength, uh, the exposure time, the light intensity, the temperature, and the available oxygen uh, in uh, causing changes in the food. For example, fresh milk, uh, if it is exposed to sunlight, it acquires off flavor, which is usually characterized as cardboard. Uh, and uh, butter also becomes rancid faster uh, next to fluorescent light. Uh, similarly, uh, vitamins such as riboflavin, ascorbic acid, and some of the color pigments are sensitive to light. Again, this is an overview of some of the chemical changes that result in uh, deterioration of food quality attributes. We will look at some of these reactions in more detail in uh, separate tutorials.